All right, what we're going to try to do with our uh, system here is uh, release a chip. So what we've done is heated it up to where we could uh, take the uh, red epoxy off, and that red epoxy is actually Loctite. So what we're going to do is start our program and see if we can't get it to um, go to where we'll actually get the uh, chip off. And what we're doing right now is just heating up the uh, system to see if we can't get to uh, appropriate temperature to uh, take the solder off the bottom of the machine. And we have to use flux on this to uh, take and condition the solder to make it um, work. And what we've done is we put some flux on there earlier and we'll just take in put a little bit more on and you'll start to notice as it bubbles up and this is part of the actual uh, removing of the chip so we're going to allow this to do its deal underneath there it gets turned up and uh, hopefully it'll hit the appropriate temperature to where it'll start and do its thing we have our upper heater up high uh, for a reason because it's not really on so it's not doing any good uh, but after the bottom heater hits a specific temperature we'll be able to lower this down and it'll start performing its own uh, task but not until uh, the bottom heater has hit its uh, specific temperature will that even uh, matter or count now I use a pair of tweezers myself to pull it off so we're gonna let this get to uh, the appropriate temperature and you can take and bump the chipset in the corner like that and you'll see if it'll move and by bumping it it'll just trigger it to slide and then we know that we can take and pull it up and lift up without damaging the uh, pads or anything like that underneath so we're gonna let this heat up and do its thing and then we'll uh, start with our next steps of actually uh, releasing it and taking it off So now we've lowered our uh, upper heater down and we can notice that the flux is actually activating and heating up uh, which is not, uh, it's pretty common. So what we're going to do is allow it to do its uh, process here and the hotter it gets the uh, closer the solder gets to being liquefied and from that we can actually reach in with our uh, tweezers and take the chip off now with our dark IR systems we actually pull uh, uh, CPU housings we can actually replace those uh, we've actually replaced uh, um, battery uh, terminals we can actually replace uh, SATA connectors and wireless ports uh, we've actually uh, pulled the memory ports off also. So what we're going to do is allow this to get just high enough to pull that chipset off. And so it's getting close to that temperature. Uh, as the flux gets closer and closer, the bubbles get fewer and fewer because it's actually starting to melt down and uh, dissipate. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, corner bump. I'm just going to check and see if it's loose, which it's not. It's going to need a little bit more time to actually uh, loosen that up. And bumping it in the corner will let you know if it's loose or not. But you have to be really careful because the capacitors can be uh, moved or damaged that way. This is just a scrap board, so it doesn't really matter. We're actually harvesting this chipset to use on a different system. So what we don't want to have happen is what's called uh, popcorning, where the uh, upper portion of the chipset becomes uh, damaged due to excessive heat or excessive exposure to heat. So what we're going to do is allow this one to get just hot enough to where we can remove it but not hot enough to uh, damage the surface of the chip. Now, the uh, solder, when it reaches 217 degrees is when it becomes liquefied and it's able to be uh, removed. So until it reaches that temperature, it's not going to be liquid and it's not going to move. And it's going to have to stay at that temperature for some time. It's not like you can just reach that temperature and it'll actually uh, remove itself. So what we've done is uh, we're able to remove the chip and the chip looks perfectly fine. It's got the uh, mark on the outside of it, no popcorning, and then the back portion has uh, near perfect traces on it. A uh, little bit of cleaning up to do from the uh, solder and we can actually tell that the uh, solder on the board doesn't have any visible traces. You can actually pull the um, memory chips off because those can be used in repairs also so um, especially in the DB9000s the memory chips can be used so we take those off also but as you can see we have these uh, solder points that seem to be fine uh, we don't see any uh, visibly left traces on the board and since this is a harvest board it's perfectly fine the only thing we cared about was the uh, chipset so Next, we'll move on to cleaning up the chipset and using it to uh, repair a system. But uh, everything looks good on it, and um, that's what we're going to uh, go from.